For some reason, it feels weird, but the NBA Draft Lottery is next week. So today, we're actually going to do multiple Draft Lottery simulations in this video. This should be fun. If you guys are excited about the lottery and want the luck for your team on your side, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button as soon as as we get the official order, I'm going to give you guys a mock draft, so you're going to want to know when that goes up. So be subscribed, and with all that said, let's hop into this. Let's start this off by refreshing everyone's memory on the current lottery order. You've got the Golden State Warriors with the worst odds, 0.05% chance at number one, and 2.4% chance at a top four pick. The Pacers have a 1% chance at number one. 4.8 at top four, Spurs 1.7 at number one, and 8% to get inside the top four. The Hornets with basically the same thing. Then you've got the Pelicans, Kings, and Bulls, which is probably going to the Orlando Magic unless it's inside the top three. They've all got a 4.5% chance at number one and a 20.3% chance at a top four pick. The Raptors have a 7.5% chance at number one and a 31.9% chance at getting inside the top four. The Timberwolves, which could be going to the Golden State Warriors, have 9% chance at number one and 37.2% chance at the top four. Both the Cavaliers and Thunder have an 11.5% chance at number one and a 45% chance to get inside the top four. Then you've got the best odds. That's going to be in the hands of the Orlando Magic, Detroit Pistons, and Houston Rockets. But if the Houston Rockets are outside of the top four, that's going to be going to the Oklahoma City Thunder. These teams all have a 14% chance at the number one selection and a 52.1% chance at getting inside the top four. Now, obviously, if you simulate the lottery with a massive sample size, this is going to be the average order. But the lottery is the furthest thing from a large sample size. It's going to happen one time. Maybe it's rigged. But that's a conversation for another day. But because it's happening just once, it's extremely likely we see some crazy scenarios go down. And that's exactly what you're going to see in today's five simulations. For this video, since we're doing so many mocks, we're not going to go super in-depth in each selection, rather just pointing out the crazy scenarios we see in each one. At the bottom of the first simulation, the lottery didn't really change. The Warriors, Pacers, Spurs, Hornets, and Pelicans stay where they're projected to be. Now, just so you guys know, these teams at the bottom don't have a chance at a mid-lottery pick. With how the lottery works, they're either going to crack the top four or stay where they are. I thought I should clear that up because I've made that mistake in the past. We see the Timberwolves, Raptors, and Warriors via the Timberwolves all move down a spot, which means someone is moving up. The Magic actually fall three spots to six, so they go into the draft with the sixth and ninth pick. Five is where it gets interesting. We've got the Oklahoma City Thunder, but it's not from their pick. It's actually via the Rockets, meaning they've got another selection ahead. The Kings jump up to four, the Cavs are at three, the Pistons at two, and the Oklahoma City Thunder hit the jackpot, landing the number one overall pick in this draft. As a Thunder fan, for this to be the first simulation, man, am I excited. In this mock, they managed to walk away with both Cade Cunningham and Jalen Suggs. For every mock in this video, regardless of who holds it, Cunningham is going number one. Suggs is a guy that could go really anywhere inside the top five, but the Thunder are able to get him, with the Pistons deciding to go Mobley, the Cavs going Kaminga, and the Kings taking Jalen Green. It doesn't make any sense for the Cavs or Kings to take him. Possibly the Pistons would go that way, but in that scenario, the Thunder would just get what's left of these five guys. With the Magic's two top 10 picks, they managed to get power forward Scotty Barnes and shooting guard Keon Johnson. Now for the bottom of the lottery, it's hard to predict. You're going to see very different mocks all over the internet. Take a guy like Davion Mitchell, for example. He got a huge bump in stock after leading Baylor to an NCAA title. He could go as high as 7 to the Warriors in this mock. Maybe the Pelicans at 10, or in this case, the last pick of the lottery to the Warriors. In simulation number two, we don't see any surprises at the top two. The Magic go with Cade at number one, and the Rockets decide to get Jalen Suggs with the second overall pick. I really think if the Rockets are anywhere between two and four, and Suggs is on the board, they draft him. The biggest surprise of this simulation is going to be the Spurs, jumping up nine spots all the way to the third overall pick, and they actually grab Evan Mobley. The Raptors are at four, they take Jalen Green, probably has the most upside in this draft. Some of the other interesting scenarios in this mock are going to be the Warriors going with Moses Moody at 9 and 6 foot 8 foreign point guard Josh Giddy with the last pick of the lottery. If this team is making selections, it's not for starters. If this is where they are and who they take, they emerge as clear winners. We also see the Pelicans go with Davion Mitchell after the Kings 
decide to grab Corey Kisper. In the third simulation, the Cavs get the top pick, and somehow they've got to figure out an offense with three ball dominant players, that being Colin Sexton, Darius Garland, and Cade Cunningham. The Pacers had the second worst odds in the lottery, but they go all the way to the second overall pick and grab Jalen Green. The Kings also jump up, they're at number three, they grab Evan Mobley. The backcourt is strong as it stands right now. They got De'Aaron Fox, Tyrese Halliburton, maybe Heald is gone this offseason, but for now he's on the roster. They look scary grabbing the top big men in the class. After that, we don't really see any surprises. In the fourth month, we've got the Orlando Magic getting the number one pick for the second time in this video. This is also the first sim where we actually get to see the Minnesota Timberwolves make a selection, and theirs is actually a pretty tough decision. It's really hard to say where they would go. There's no obvious hole to address. I really think it's up in the air. I think it'd just most likely be who's the top guy on their board. In this case, I've got them going with Jalen Green, despite the presence of the number one overall pick from last year, Anthony Edwards. This is also the first simulation where we see the Pelicans take a jump. They're at number four. After landing this pick, they go into the offseason with a plan to let Lonzo Ball walk, expecting him to get a decent bag and bank on landing Jalen Suggs here at four. A scary selection for the rest of the league, considering this young core and all the future assets they hold. The rest of the order goes as expected. The Thunder get the fifth and seventh picks. They grab Evan Mobley and Jalen Johnson. Simulation five is crazy. We thought the Pelicans going to four was scary, and this one, they jump all the way up to the number one spot in the draft. And they now have a big three of Cade Cunningham, Brandon Ingram, and Zion Williamson. That's just unfair. The Warriors also land a top pick from the Timberwolves. They're sitting at number four. With Mobley going off the board, their decision really comes down to Jalen Suggs, Jonathan Kaminga, and, and Scotty Barnes. I could see them going with any of those guys, but I have them taking a player that could hopefully be the leader of their second unit and the future point guard of this team, Jalen Suggs. The rest of the order is around projections. Because of how crazy these simulations and mocks were, I actually felt like doing another one, and it didn't disappoint. The Rockets get the top pick. We all know who they would take, but the crazy scenario here is that the Charlotte Hornets jump up nine spots to the second overall pick. They go ahead and get Evan Mobley, who I think they're more than ecstatic to grab given the tempo this team wants to play at. The Kings jump up again, they're at number five, and they take Jonathan Kaminga. The Pistons have struggled to get in the top four in this video, and that doesn't change. They're at number five, and they grab Jalen Suggs. The rest is same old, same old. But that's the video, guys. You guys give me your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys really like this, we still got a week to the lottery. If you guys are smashing that like button, telling me in the comments below, I could do another one of these before the lottery actually happens. You guys tell me, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.